<laughs> Welcome to a video on how to get good at Echo. Perhaps the hero that causes more blood pressure than being forced to preform in front of the entire fucking class. Let's get started. Echo was the last hero added to the original game, and is a DPS hero. Like we already don't fucking have enough of those in the first place. Anyway, despite adding more fuel to the DPS problem, Echo offers a kit comprised of high amounts of mobility and burst damage. Her primary fire consists of a three pallet projectile shotgun that shoots in a triangle. Each one of the three projectiles deals 17 damage, adding up to a total of 51 if all of them hit. Though like Doomfist, despite the spread being rather small, the projectile velocity is on the slower side, so it is suggested to either keep close to the degenerate you're shooting, or if you are a pro, then you should lead your shots. As to ensure that you can actually land your triangle people fucker, Echo gets 12 of these equilateral shits before needing to reload, which should be more than enough to deal with any insignificant threat that dare stands before you. Echo's first ability launches out a volley of 6 sticky bombs Serious? that will explode shortly on impact with any surface or enemy. Each sticky bomb can deal 25 damage per explosion, however, it can also deal 5 damage upon impact, meaning that you can simply lob this shit at some poor idiot who's probably screaming at their mercy to heal them, and watch as the blow ball of death will literally blow ball them as hard as the boyfriend in Friday Night Funkin'. Despite their name however, the cyborg ninja a piece of shit can still deflect them using his shitty little katana knife, so be sure to be careful, otherwise you'll end up launching that 180 burst damage right back into your fucking face, though because of how short the fucking cooldown is, this will be your primary tool in applying a ton of damage whilst barely putting any fucking effort in whatsoever, you can practically smell the free kills this shit can get for you. Echo's next ability is a fucking laser that deals a measly 50 damage per second and lasts for 2 seconds. Whilst this shit sounds like it barely does anything, Echo decided to snort so much bullshit that if the fucking laser hits an enemy that is below 50% health, the damage will skyrocket to 200 damage per second, allowing her to outright slaughter that piece of shit faster than people avoiding the non-PVZ videos on this shit show of a channel. The power of this basically allows you to very easily shred through tanks with no fucking problem, and what makes it even harder for the tanks is that the damage increase also applies to their shields meaning that you can simply just mow down their shield and allow your team to very easily deal with the now defenseless tank that is now a bag of free ultimate charge hope you enjoy those free endorsements Echo's last ability grants her increased movement speed and the ability to fly into the fucking sky for the next 3 seconds. This allows you to very easily cover a lot of ground quickly and access high ground that some heroes may be unable to reach. This also ties in with her passive, which is exactly the same as Mercy, except that you move slightly faster whilst airborne. Lastly, comes Echo's ultimate, which basically allows her to become a clone of any member of the enemy team for the next 15 seconds, gaining all of their abilities and shit. What makes this even more bullshit is that during that time, the hero you have turned into gains 6.5 times more ultimate charge than usual. That specific detail allows you to very easily gain your ultimate within the first few shots or so, and even possibly have more than one ultimate within that 15 second time span. This shit is best used to outright overwhelm the fuck out of the enemy team from how quickly you can build up the ultimate as well as how many you can potentially get in that time. It is best to duplicate a character that has an ultimate that can be disposed of very quickly such as Reinhardt or Reaper. If you end up dying in the duplicate form then no problem as you will come out of it with at least 100 health and all of your abilities off cooldown allowing you to very easily recover from your fuck up and get out of there pretty much scot free. Echo is a hero that relies on high amounts of mobility as well as target prioritization skills. Her ability to fly whilst allowing her basically free access to the entire map also sets her up to have her head shot off by some pop shot widow or spam hanzo. Echo is also easily crippled by the Mexican taco munching hacker since it shuts down her entire mobility and her ability to lay out burst damage whilst her fucking lasers can shred through low health enemies like a piece of 
Olympus, if a Lucio or Zen decided that they don't want their teammates to die, then the beam will end up doing barely any damage at all. Her ultimate can also be shut down very easily. If every enemy decides to focus you down harder than the US hunting down Bin Laden. Thanks to this guide, you will now be able to wipe out enemies with minimal fucking effort, and can take down the enemy team effortlessly. Like the spy from TF2, be sure to come back for the Genji get good next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.